dear students i will be teaching you about triangle this is for class 6 triangle i mean to say about polygon in the last class i told you told you what is polygon in this class i will teach you uh, in polygon about triangle and quadrilateral you know a triangle is a polygon bounded by three line segments bounded by three line segments it has three sides three vertices and three angles a triangle has six parts sum of all the angles of a triangle is 180 degree now in this chapter we will be learning about triangular region the region or the area bounded by the three line segments the inner part is called interior and the part outside the triangle outside the bounded line is called exterior here point r and point s is in the exterior of the triangle point p and point q are in the interior of the triangle point m p point m a b c the vertices of the triangle these are on the triangle so the points outside are called exterior and point inside are called interior and the points on the line are called um, on the triangle now a triangle i told you that it has six parts the three angles and the three sides are called the three parts of the triangle next the uh, polygon bounded by four line segment is called quadrilateral it is a polygon bounded by four line segment it has four side four vertices and four angle sum of all the angles of quadrilateral is 360 degree it has two diagonals types of quadrilateral quadrilateral is mainly of two type convex quadrilateral and concave quadrilateral now what is convex quadrilateral and what is concave quadrilateral now convex quadrilateral a quadrilateral whose all angles are less than 180 degree is called convex quadrilateral it has again of six types rectangle square parallelogram rhombus trapezium kite these are known as convex quadrilateral now concave quadrilateral a quadrilateral whose one angle is reflex angle is called concave quadrilateral abcd is a convex concave quadrilateral in which d is reflex angle so one angle is more than 180 degree hence it is a concave quadrilateral so uh, students today i told you about triangle and quadrilateral you have problems related to this in this exercise solve it and see you can be easily able to solve these questions so thank you you do it